we'll show you how to modify the control center on your iPhone running iOS 18. Customizing your control center allows you to quickly access the features you use the most. On iOS 18 control center has a major update and it will allow more customizations. In this video, we will see how you can modify the control center on your iOS device and how can you benefit from all the changes Apple made to its operating system. Before we start, please remember to like the video and share it. Thank you a lot. One thing that has remained unchanged is the way you open the control center. Swipe down from the top right corner. This is the traditional method for newer iPhones. The control center has now more than one page and can help you better organize your actions by category. From the start, we have some pages that have been added automatically by iOS 18 update. On the right of the control center, you see some small icons. Those are the pages for the control center. Please see that I have only three icons. This is important. On the top, there is a plus icon. Tap on it. You see now that we entered into the edit mode for the control center. You can now add more controls and change any page from the control center. So tap on add a control. Find the control you want and tap it. Now the control is added. On the control center, you can also move icons and controls. When you are on the edit mode, you just need to keep your finger on an icon and just drag it to where you want. You see that the controls are just moving on your screen. On the control center, you can also resize any control or widget. Let's get to the music controls page. You see, I have here a full page of controls for the music app. I want to have it a bit small. I am already in the edit mode, but if you are not just tap on the plus icon from the top, on every icon, there is in the right corner a border part that is more evident. That is where we can resize an icon. Keep your finger on that border part and just move it on the screen. You will see that the control will resize. When you are pleased, just take your finger from the screen and the resize will be complete. Let me add a new control on this page. But what if you want to add a new page on the control panel? What can you do? Remember that when we opened the control center, we had three icons on the right. You see now that we entered into the edit mode for the control center. Now when you look on the icons from the right, you see there are four icons. The new icon added is the new page. Swipe from bottom to top to move to the last page. You see here we have a blank page. To create a new page, we need to add at least one control. So tap on Add a Control. Find the control you want and tap it. Now the control is added. Now let's add a bit more controls. You can move anywhere the control you have added. After that, just tap on the screen and the iPhone will exit the edit mode. You see now that when we are exited the edit mode, we have four icons on the control center. You can delete this new page by going into the edit mode and just removing the control from that page. This way, the page we just added will be removed. So these are the ways you can customize your control center in iOS 18. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and tricks. As always, if you have any questions or requests for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.